Alright, so let's see here. Oh, of course. I'm greeted by enemies. Doesn't look like there's as many as there were on the other side, though, so that's good. I guess I'm kind of lucky they have bad aim, too, so that's always a plus. Yeah. Did that thing just hit me? I swear I hear my guy getting hit. God, I did. I don't know. Never mind, whatever. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Maybe he's just grunting for happiness or grunting for joy. I don't know. Alright, well that sounds like it's about all of them, so let's go back and, uh... Collect as many of those crystal vials that are left. There's not many. I think there's only two or three, but... Every little bit helps. Yeah, there we go. Now, there shouldn't be too many more enemies out there. I mean... <laughs> we kind of took them all out, mostly, so... Okay, so there's more crystal vials left than I thought. That works. That's a good surprise, actually. Those are rare. Hmm. Now I gotta find out what putting that uh, heart of disparil on that pedestal did, too. Okay, so it wasn't all of them. I don't know where he was hiding, but it doesn't matter. He was taken out with ease. Oh, okay. Too dumb to go around the tree. Lovely. Luckily for me, I can hit you through the tree. Well, I see some Etten roaming around up there, and I think those stairs lowered, but let's stay on the upper path and see what else is up here. Crystal vials. Well, that was... wasn't really worth it, but I'll take what I can get. So maybe something opened up up here. We can hope. Oh, there we go. A disc of repulsion. Another new item. That Basically what that does is any projectiles that are shot at you, if you use a good disc of repulsion, it will bounce them back. Or you can push enemies away. So, once again, it's more or less a crowd control weapon. If you get swarmed, you can push them all back to kind of give yourself some space. Which, with the fighter, comes in very handy, I must say. Considering he's all close range, so yeah. Let's see what we got up here. I don't like this narrow hallway thing. Wow, that's a lot of serpents. A lot. <laughs> Maybe I can bounce some grenades up there and take them out. Or that. That works too. <laughs> yeah, just stay there and let the grenade blow up on you. Okay, so they're acting pretty dumb here, which is working in my favor. Of course, that was a pretty dumb move on my part, but I came out relatively unscathed there. I don't know how he's not being able to shoot me, but... Hmm. Just too stupid to walk one more step to where he's, to where he's got a clear shot. They're not the brightest, but they are rather strong. And I think that's actually all of them, so... Yippee, yippee for us. Alright, maxed out our mana. Gotten all the quartz flasks. Now let's see what this little thing is here. We've actually maxed out our quartz flasks. Ah, the icon of the defender. This is another item that does different things for depending on which character class you have. For the fighter, it does just the basic function of making you invincible. Which is still, you know... A really good item. Now for the mage, um, if I'm not mistaken, it makes you invincible and any projectiles that come at you bounce back. And for the cleric, I think it makes you invincible and partially invisible, if memory serves. So, pretty useful. Has the least effect for the fighter, but still, at least it makes him invincible, so that's all good. And there are some stalkers in here. Alright, Groovy! We have finally completed all the levels in the first hub, so now we can make our way to the end of the of that final room behind the last door there. If we can find the switch that actually opens that door. Yeah, 
May as well scavenge for some any remaining health here. Kill a couple of the Etnant spawn there before we open the door. If they'll ever come here within range. There we go. Alright, yeah, there's a the switch. Alright, good stuff. So, maybe... Alright, just centaurs, that's alright. I was expecting some chaos serpents, but that's... That's good when it only gives us centaurs. They're melee fighters, and we can deal with them. Heard something teleport in, so... Eh, whatever, it's not close enough to do me any harm. Oh. One of them survived, because he was dumb enough to not charge me with the others. Whoa, what? Oh. Steps! Invisible steps! Yay! Well, let's collect these little fletchets here. And we can finally leave. Because we have done pretty much everything, so that's good. Well, I say we've done everything, what the hell? It's an item up there, how the hell do we get that? There's gotta be a way. That look, wait a minute. Is that an alcove? Yes, it is! Let's see if we can make this jump here. Get a good running start, of course. I don't like this at all, so... I can hear some serpents, so this doesn't look too good. And now I hear a crap load of birds birthing. Lovely. Let's see what we've got up here now. Ah, yes, a chaos serpent. Luckily, narrow hallway. He's too stupid to walk around the corner. Excellent. So is this one. Gotta love it. Oh, okay, so what's this item here? This is... Wings of Wrath. Those give you a temporary ability of flight, if memory serves. May as well kill the Etten while we're on the other side of the grate here. Why not? Cheap free kills. Gotta love them. And with that out of the way, I think we're ready to actually exit the level if there's nothing else over there. And there wasn't, so... Yeah, let's... Other than the four or five Etten that are up here, and the birds that are spawning somewhere... We should be ready. Oh, there we go. See that green item floating up there? That is actually a piece of our super weapon. Quietus, which is the fighter sword that he walks around with... With his sprite that you can see. I'm getting mixed up here, but yeah. Now this is actually where the panel comes in handy. As you can see, it's got the hilt there showing, so... It shows the pieces of your super weapon as you collect them. But that's about all it's good for, so we'll take that off. And we can finally finish this hub. Temp save. And that's it. Join me next time when we tackle the Shadow Wood. Hope you've enjoyed. See you then. Having passed the seven portals which sealed this realm, a vast domain of harsh wilderness stretches before you. Fire, ice, and steel have tested you, but greater challenges remain ahead. The dense tangle of forest surely hides hostile eyes, but what lies beyond will be worse. Barren desert, dank swamps, and musty caverns bar your way, but you cannot let anything keep you from your fate, even if you might come to wish that it would. And beyond, flickering in the distance, the ever-shifting walls of the hip-hostel seem to mock your every effort. <laughs>